So this is just going to be a short video on how to chop up a video. Um, I've used a lot of video editors. I do prefer Adobe Premiere, uh, but uh, DaVinci Resolve is a free option and it's it's very good actually and, and it, when you do your install it'll ask you how do you want it set up and you can get a tool set right here just like Adobe Premiere so um, when I do these videos I try and provide a free option and DaVinci Resolve really fulfills that so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna drag and drop my video now it's important here that this is an mp4 um, this was a WMV file before I just had to convert it uh, and now I drop it in and I've got my mp4 um, uh, to work with uh, it doesn't uh, DaVinci Resolve doesn't accept all formats but uh, uh, it does take mp4 I try and use that one anyway just in case I'm going to be dropping this into trial pad or playing it on an, on an iPad or an iPhone um, so I, mp4 is just my preferred format uh, seems to work with with most of my stuff and uh, my clients so uh, I'm just gonna take what I have here this video I'm gonna drag it down to the timeline and that now it's gonna make it available for me to work with so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pretend like the HGN has been suppressed and I know that conflicts with what I'm doing after that but it's just a matter of us cutting up a video showing how it's done so all right so you eventually she stands up and um, we're going to chop this audio here. Uh, she stands up to do the HGN. Uh, that's we're, we're just going to put her in the chair and say, all right, well, where are you still sitting in the chair? The officer's not up yet. You know what? We'll cut it right there. So we're going to take this razor blade tool. We're going to go right to our line. We're going to click. Now we've got a video, this small little video here. And for your information, Adobe Promo, uh, Adobe Premiere has a little slider bar down here. But when you're working with DaVinci Resolve, you've got the zoom function up here. So it'll zoom on your cursor. Uh, but um, we've got this video here and this video over here. Now the video over here runs to the end. Okay. But we want to find the end of the HGM, cut it, and then have everything else afterwards. So we're going to zoom back out so we've got more of our timeline on the screen. And we're going to take our cursor and run it out. Um, all right, so he finishes the... <laughs> oh, he just lack of convergence too. Well, that test is garbage. So we're going to cut that one out too. Um, and she gets in the chair and we'll cut it to a right, right about right there. Um, cut it wherever you want. We're just going to make this one look like a glitch. So now we've got two more uh, sections of video. One more, really. And we're just going to select the middle piece here. And we're just going to hit the delete key. Now it's gone. So if you come back down and we zoom in, you see how we've got this gap here. And I'll show you the jump. Press play. A little bit faster than I expected. All right, bring that back down here for you. And you'll see the jump from one to the other. So let me press play. Boop, there it goes. And uh, the guy isn't seated, seated on the bench anymore, but the HGN is gone. And for purposes of what we wanted to show, that was the point. Okay, so the video uh, otherwise would be pretty short, but the other, one I, the other thing I want to show you here is how to uh, add a still image and let that run for a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this second part, we're going to move it out of the way. It's going to give us a gap to work with. We're going to take an image that we have. Um, this particular image, I use snipping tool, grabbed a screenshot, annotated it in Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, added this little image down here, added the lines, and you can see what we're working with here. So when we come there we go. So I added this little image, added the lines, added the eight inches thing. And you can see how he's just too close when he's doing his HGN. If that's what we want to demonstrate, we're going to add this still frame here. Uh, we're going to butt it right up against the, the first part of the video. We're going to take the second part of the video. We're going to bring it down to the... It's jumping on me. There we go. So uh, we're going to bring it right down to the end. So what we have here is if we're running a hearing 
and we want to make this piece of demonstrative evidence, what we do is we let that video play. Now, as long as that's on the screen, that's what uh, that's what the video plays. So we can make that longer if we want. We just slide this out further. Uh, we grab this. Now we make it, and I think we just added a little over four seconds, and then we just let that play again. So when it's playing, now you've got that screenshot. Now you can pause it, talk about that screenshot, whatever you're going to do in court, and resume. And that's going to be there for as long as you want it to be. And then when this cursor hits, you jump back into your normal video. So that's real quick, just chopping up a video, adding a still frame using DaVinci Resolve. And then when you're done with that, you've got your end product. Uh, it's a simple process. I won't explain this every time, I promise. But uh, I do this um, the same way I do in Premiere. I'm not even sure how it works in DaVinci Resolve. I'm just used to doing it. So I go to the beginning of my video. I hit the letter I key, the letter I for uh, the in. I move this down to the end. And I drop this right at the end. I hit the O key for the out. And then I just hit deliver. It's this little rocket ship down here. So I hit deliver and I'll pick a file name. We'll just put it in demo. Uh, and what we'll do is we will drop it on the desktop. Um, I think I already picked, uh, if not, we'll pick H264 right now. And then we come over here and we sit. We just hit, st uh, oh no, I'm sorry, add to render queue. And then we come over here and hit start render. So now it's going to run through that video for us. And when it's done, we're going to have a brand new video all cut up with our still frame uh, added to it, uh, dropped on our desktop for us. And there you go. That's, uh, that's editing a video and drop it in a still frame using DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully uh, you find that useful and it helps you in your practice.